Um, my name is May Tramada. I'm from the upcoming in the UK. Hello, hi. So to start us off with, just give us a quick and brief introduction into Pachinko and to anybody who's new to the series. So Pachinko is the story of one family across almost a century of a Korean family who comes to Japan and the story of mothers and fathers and sons and whether or not they're going to survive in a world that doesn't want them there. How different is this season compared to the first season, um, the kind of stories mm -hmm. that you're tackling this season? And was there already a foundation for the trajectory of season two when you were working on season one? So, I mean, I, th I feel like it still has the same heartbeat as season one. It still has the same emotional contours. I think what makes season two different is the scale got bigger. We have more characters. Um, the stakes feel just a lot more urgent for our characters than season one. And in terms of the, the, the basic foundations of season two, we knew from season one, the way the show has been plotted and the trajectory of it. But of course, along the way, you always find changes that you want to make that feels more organic. And how different was it, or how difficult actually was it to balance, you know, the very two different cultures of Korean and Japanese and, you know, do justice to the history, the story, and the perspectives of those two very different countries? I mean, I think that compare and contrast is so much of what drives this show, right? While being both specific, we also wanted to make sure that compare and contrast felt like we were revealing universal questions and themes. You know, what is it like to be an outsider? Or what is it like to be a stranger in a strange land? Um, I think these are sort of the immigrants' questions that I think so many countries um, face. But I Misunja mean, has now been in Japan for, you know, 14 years. She's no longer a stranger, but the question is, is Japan home? And I think that's always the struggle. And earlier on, you talked about, you know, the grander scale that season two is in and uh, the new characters that you've introduced. Um, tell us about which of the new characters do you specifically have a liking to or um, relate to in any way? Well, I mean, season two really is a story of the second generation, right? Noah and Mizasu. So to be able to expand on those stories and work with four incredible actors who portray those two roles in two different time periods, I think that was really sort of the gift of season two. Um, and also to expand Kyung Hee's character. She's not a new character. I've always loved that character in the book and to be able to give her big, uh, just more dimensions in season two, I really hope the audience loves what we what she's done, what Unche did with that role. And balancing, you know, the parallelism and contrast between Solomon and Sunja's struggle from the past and into the present, you see a kind of like similar breakdown that they have in episode one. Um, why do you think these two characters are very pinnacle to the story of Pachinko? Some people will call it a love story and some people won't. And I love leaving that question to the audience at the ambiguity of whether or not this is a love story or not. Um, I think the answer is it is, but it isn't, and you can have both. I think what's really interesting about Sunja and Hansu is they really represent two fundamentally contrasting worldviews. You know, Sunja believes that the life lived well matters, like that you don't bring shame upon your life. And Hansu really believes in the zero sum game. He believes that someone is going to win. It should be if it if it's, if someone has to win, why shouldn't it be me, right? And we see that really enormous the struggle between these two worldviews play out in Solomon and Noah and Mizasu. I, I just find that question really interesting about their relationship. Actors playing the older versions of certain characters and then their younger versions, how much of that is, how much of that dynamic or how much of their growth is um, ingrained in how you write them and how you direct them and how much of that is the actor's own doing and how they collaborate in working on those characters? Well, what's interesting in the writing, um, in season one, we didn't have a cast, right? So when we're writing the characters, they're really a blank slate. What's been such a pleasure about season two is now that we know who our actors are and who's like, it's so much more fun to write for characters that you can see and you can visualize. And knowing how Min Ha talks or knowing how Jin moves or knowing how Min Ho, you know, laughs, you know, or knowing just, it's so nice to be able to bring, draw upon that when you write. And I think our directors did such a tremendous job, Leanne, Arvin, and Sangil, really taking the words on a page and working with the actors and pulling these performances out. It was incredible. Thank you so much. That was my last question. Thanks for Thank talking you. to me today.